How do I drop it without hurting my toes? <sighs> Maybe I should do it like this, but I like it like this. It's gonna hurt me. I need to put something on my toes. Yes, I remember this. So before I get started, I need to tell you that in this video, don't worry if I look grumpy or if I look like I'm screaming, like out of nowhere, or if I have a long face, it's because I am literally in excruciating pain. My back is fucked. <laughs> I went to the doctor last night because I couldn't move. I was laying on my yoga mat, I couldn't get up. And it turns out I have several um, verte vertebras, vertebras, I don't know how to say it, that are completely fucked up, dislocated. Instead of being, I can't even do that, instead of being like this, some are like that, and the other one's like that. So my back is literally a fucking snake, and I shouldn't be doing this makeup because I'm in pain and I have to wait for 72 hours after seeing the doctor, but I'm, I'm on a tight schedule and I yeah I have to do my zodiac I'm already too late so if you see me making faces and looking weird it's just this little fucker that is hurting me it hurts me down to my ass like when I raise my arm like this it hurts my toes <laughs> anyway that's the little I shouldn't have done that story behind the make so now let's get started with the body paint I'm starting with the nebula and the first thing I'll do is I will glue a stencil that represents the Capricorn symbol. Sorry, I have a hard time finding words because I haven't slept much. My brain is a little bit blurry. Oops, I just ruined it. Almost. Here's my stencil. Wait, I need to think because it needs to be... Uh, I need to think. <laughs> is it like this or is it like that? I mean, it doesn't matter because I can always turn the video. Anyway, I'm gonna glue this on my chest. And I'm using this glue, it's new, I've never used it before. It says cosmetic glue, so it should work. Because I ran out of I ran out of my what's it called? Spirit gum. And ew. <laughs> not the most delicate perfume. And I thought I would try this one. I bought it at a local store, so. Alright, so I'm gonna apply this on this little piece of paper and then glue it. But I'm not gonna do it in front of you because it's not very practical. I need to put it down on something. Alright, so I've put on the glue, now let's see if it actually glues. It doesn't look like it because it's already dry. Alright, let's put it in the middle. Not sure about this. Is it glued? Oh, I think so. I think it's actually better than my old uh, my, my old spirit gun. The brand is... I'm not sure, because it said fantasy makeup, but then it also said cosmetic clibe. It's probably French or Belgian, not German. It's a German brand. It's really good, I think. Make sure it's really good before you say it's really good, Sarah. Yeah, it actually looks really good. Okay, now I'm gonna take a photo for my progress pic. And I will cover all this in black and white. Well, it turns out the glue is not very good. And the stencil kept ungluing itself, so... What I did is I put the, the glue on top of the paper. And hopefully it'll work. But it's a bit messy now, so I have to remove the excess glue all around it. So, I'm going to cover it with black and hopefully it's gonna stay glued to my chest. Nice to watch. Gonna use this brush, water and black paint. I'm not gonna water it too much. I don't want it to unglue the paper. Strangely enough, I am so happy to paint and focusing that it actually makes me forget about my back paint. It's good. It's good. Alright, let's cover this fucker with black paint. Please don't. And glue. Maybe the paint will glue it. And of course my paint is too far for me to reach it. Okay, I don't think it has unglued it, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna let it dry. I will put on the white on the outer part of my body so it blends with the background and then I will put the black on top of it. I should probably not leave my cup but near my keyboard. I am known for my fun for my for not being able to talk and I'm known for my clumsiness. I am so clumsy that I honestly don't know how I can paint with myself. <laughs> Let's put white paint on the outside of my chest. It's gonna take forever. Especially with this small brush. I need a big brush. Ugh, the hair in the water. I hate hairs. It disgusts me. I have a phobia. <laughs> Especially in the shower. It makes me gag. Anyway, 
Oh, please don't unglue. When I do this, it makes it unglue. I wish I was live to do this sort of stuff because it takes forever and if you guys were watching me live, we could actually hang out and talk. It's just me. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward this. What do you think? Mm. Tailbone hurts. I've never done a two color makeup, like black and white. It's very challenging for me because I love colors so much and I love playing with them and adding as many details as I can. Black and white is really min minimalist for me and it's, it's a challenge. I'm excited about it, I'm a bit scared too because I don't really know where I'm going. But yeah, I thought I would do something different. Different for once. Okay, let's do the other side of camera. It's a bit boring to watch. I know it is. Um, okay, so now with the Beauty Blender and the same white paint, I'm gonna try to even like this white thing area part because it's transparent, uh, transparent, and I want it to be more even and more perfect and smooth. Maybe I should have done it with the Beauty Blender from the start, but um, I never know what I'm doing, so it's always improvisation. Come on. Uh, I don't You, you, I don't know, <laughs> I was gonna say something, but it just slipped my mind as fast as it came to it. I'm blurry. Please don't blur. Thank you. So it's a bit patchy, but hopefully with setting powder, it's gonna look better. I'm using translucent setting powder and I'm applying with this brush. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to black paint and create the the, ga <laughs> the galaxy uh, paint. Yes. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Stop it being blurry. Hello. So. Ooh. Should have put on the other end this morning. Thank God you can't smell through the video. Would be weird if sometime in the future we could smell things through like movies and stuff. Well, the smell here is one that you don't want to smell. <sighs> Glamorous. Okay, so I'm done with the black for now. Um, what I want to do is I want to make it look like I'm sketching on a canvas. And so I'm gonna add like strokes of black on my shoulders to outline the shape of my body. Because then it's gonna disappear with the white background. I'm not sure if you see the white background yet. I am undecided as to whether I will remove the green screen from the start or at some point during the video or at the end for the surprise. So I don't know. I am not sure so I'll just shut up. So I don't know if I should use... Don't be blurry please! I don't know if I should use a an eyeliner or a brush. Hmm. It's so hard for me to do something sketchy, something like this, that's not precise because I'm a detail freak. It makes me feel like I'm doing a shit job, but I mean, it is the effect I want, right? I want it to look like a sketch, so it can't look perfect. It's hurting every cell in my body right now. Okay, so now I will create the nebula inside the black area and it's gonna be a white nebula because I want the whole look to be black and white. So what do I start with? I have no idea. I have a reference photo here but it's super hard to paint. It's like a real NASA picture. I think I'm gonna start with powder and I will work slowly and create the clouds. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna use the setting powder, hopefully. I think it's gonna be visible on the black paint. annoying, isn't it? All 
Alright, so the idea is to create clouds. I'm not very good with clouds. I did a good job with my Aquaman body paint. I really love the clouds that I make, but usually I'm not very good. It's just I don't have the patience for all the layers, which is crazy because I am a patient one when it when it when it's well, in terms of details. But the clouds, not so much. Maybe I should learn with um, what's his name again? Bob Ross. Bob Ross. It is a little bit of looking like what I had in mind. I guess, and I'm done. Oh, should I have done that? That's karma. Uh, Alright, now I need to think about the next step because I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm panicking. Um, I think I'm gonna do more of this, but with a smaller brush to uh, def like define the clouds better. Is it still wet? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna use a small brush. I think it's actually the brush that I used on my clouds, for my Aquaman. It's a good brush for clouds. If you have a brush like this, it's really good for clouds. Because the tip, oh, I just spat. The tip makes it easy to like shape the clouds. Okay, so this is the basic shape of my nebula. I want some areas that are brighter and whiter, whiter. So I'm gonna use white paint and hopefully I can find a brush that has the same kind of tip, but it's a lot smaller. And I will try to shape the, those areas of light. Can you see? It's focusing on my face and not on the brush. Is it still blurry, guys? I don't know. Blurry! Okay, so I've changed my mind. I'm gonna put on powders first because it's kind of just white right now and I'm gonna use different grays and then I will put on the paint. I'm gonna use a, a brush. I don't know what it's called. It's cold. Well it's not cold anything because it's erased. It's not doing anything is it? No, nothing that I'm doing is working. Well maybe I, sh I should just put white. I don't know why for some reason I have brown here. One of my brushes must have been dirty. Okay so I guess, forget about what I said about the eyeshadows because it's not working. This is me trying to add details and this makeup is not about details. So no, no more details. I'm going to add the white paint. Yes, that is the right thing to do. Let's take this brush back and add white paint, which is now gray because I used the brush with eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use the same brush that I used for my Aquaman. I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. Um, I'm gonna add black. Uh, now I'm gonna add more clouds with this brush and the same translucent setting powder. I'm just putting it randomly so that it looks like clouds. So I'm putting the final touches of clouds with this round large brush. I'm just applying it randomly all around. Don't be blurry, please. All right, I think that's enough. Um, now I will put on the con the yeah the constellation. Okay, so let's add the stars all around the Capricorn symbol I'm using a um, clown white cream and a round hard brush. Now I will try to add a halo to my stars. In case you're wondering what I'm using, it's just setting powder. It's the same powder I've used everywhere. So I dip it in water and then I just brush the oops, paint. And then with my finger, I just do this.
And then I will paint bigger ones with a brush. Now I will add beams of light on the constellation because I want the stars to stand out more. I'm going to use the cream paint. And now it's time to remove the stencil. Hopefully it's clean under that. Alright, it's a little bit dirty here, here, and here, but with a Q-tip I can fix it. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the face now, and I'm gonna start by blocking out my eyebrows with some glue. I'm gonna put on the second coat of glue. Alright, I'm going to do the other side. And voila. I mean, and voila. <laughs> and voila. Um, okay, so now I'm going to cover all of my face with white uh, paint. I'm going to use the cream, the clown cream paint, because it's really thick and it's going to be easier than the paint, than the water paint. I believe I'm going to use my fingers. Now I'm going to paint my ears. Probably put on the second coat, but that's good for now. I'll paint my hair as well, a little bit. It's scary. Yeah, it look creepy. I'm gonna use my eyeliner and I'm gonna shape the face of the uh, of the itchy of the Capricorn. And uh, yeah, this is the hard part because it has to be everything but precise, <laughs> and I don't like it. Okay, so this is the basic shape of the face. <laughs> Now I will shape the, uh, the mouth, the nose, and two patches of black for the eyes. But I don't know where to start. Like I said, right? Don't panic. You don't have to be perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other. I'm blurry. My blurry. My side is blurry, but I think the camera is blurry too. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do the other eye. I look like a weird superhero. <laughs> I'm almost done. I'm gonna go over the nose and I also need to add very thin brush strokes uh, on her, on his um, snout. snout. So I've made little ears with paper and I'm now gonna glue them on the side of my face. Oh, don't I look cute? So I hope the glue is gonna work. It's the one I used at the beginning. I'm not a big fan of it. Oh, it itches me everywhere on my face. Maybe I should just use the glue stick. Maybe it would work better. Alright, let's do the other one, but I have to paint it first. 
Um, <laughs> it's not doing very well. I feel like this one is a bit higher than the other one. Alright, I'm almost done. I'm putting on all my props. I made this because, I don't know if you know, but Capricorn is half fish or marine. Half um, boat. And so I made this with cardboard. And I'm gonna put it behind me. I don't know how, but it has to be behind me. Like this. I just don't know how. <laughs> and I still have to put the horns on, and I don't know how to put them on either. So, <laughs> I look like a weird cow. I put on the horns, but they're so big, they don't even fit. So, <laughs> I don't even know if you're gonna see them on the, on the final picture. <sighs> anyway, now I gotta figure out a way to use my mermaid tail. If I hold it like this, do you think I can do this? Freaking hurts. Maybe I can hold it with my arm and my back. It hurts, but you don't need to see my arm, so this is a crazy make. Okay, I'm gonna try to take the final pick, and then I will come back to you to say goodbye. <laughs> Guys, I completely forgot to draw the hairs on my snout. Hard in my back. Oh, guys, <laughs> I'm exhausted. Yes, but. On a positive note, my back didn't hurt that much and that proves the power of the mind. I was focusing so much on the makeup that it didn't hurt me so much. But anyway, I, I need a shower now, so I will leave you. Don't forget to click the like button if you like the makeup and even if you don't because it's always nicer to like than to dislike. Although there are things you can dislike, like racism and stuff like that. But I am getting carried away right now. <laughs> so anyway, just please leave me a comment if you want to connect with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It's a matter of life or death. You know, every time someone subscribes, it adds a few seconds to my life. And I intend to die very old. I will see you next week with a new makeup. In the meantime, take care and be happy. And embrace, embrace yourself. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Should I have painted eyes? <laughs> yes, I'm having that. I'm probably black in the back. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Alright. Shower time! See ya!